26 the verse 15 you travel land and sea to make a proselyte and when you make him you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourself they are missionary minded they do God's work for sometimes with great sacrifice they become full-time workers but their converts are double children of hell because they don't preach repentance they make people feel they are born again when they are not born again these are pharisaical preachers they make people feel they are filled with the Holy Spirit when they are not filled with the Holy Spirit they make people double the children of hell I mean they were already the children of hell before this Pharisee went there as a missionary but he went there as a missionary and told this fellow he's born again just because he repeated some mantra Lord Jesus come into my heart okay brother praise the Lord now just put your tithe here every Sunday and you're okay and they made the fellow double the child of hell because he he's been insulated against the gospel now now whatever gospel preacher comes and say you must be born again oh I was born again that day when I said this mantra what a deception going on today I've had I've told people in some of our churches, some elder brothers, that person in your church is not, not born again. I mean, I can see that visiting that church for three days. I'm amazed that that elder brother who lives there for a whole year can't see it. Because he's a Pharisee. He's blind. They're making such people double the child, children of hell. We have to be very careful. <clears throat> I've seen some churches where, you know, they're partial to the poor. It's the opposite of being partial to the rich. There are two types of pits. One is to be partial to the rich and the other is to be partial to the poor. Oh, this is a poor person. We will not trouble that person in any way. Uh, we'll honor that person and make that person feel great in our church and send him or her to hell. I won't do that. I'm not a communist trying to raise the standards of the poor. That's not my calling. I'm a Christian. I respect a person who is God-fearing and humble whether they are rich or poor. But just because he's poor, he's not humble and God-fearing, I couldn't care less for him. Because I'm not a communist. A lot of our elder brothers are communists. They care for the poor. I don't. I care for the God-fearing and the humble. And I'm colorblind as to whether they are rich or poor or educated or uneducated. Sometimes we can think, oh brother, our church is a godly church. We don't have any educated people here. We don't have any rich people here. We don't have any cultured people here. We have just a bunch of poor, uneducated, ungodly people. What's the use of that? Babylon in a different color. I'm not interested. You can build your church that way if you want. I'd rather have a a bunch of God-fearing people who may be highly educated. So what? I tell you, this type of crazy stupidity we, I have seen in our churches. We're not talking about some other denomination. Elder brothers in our churches who think godliness equals poverty. Godliness equals being uneducated. Godliness equals living in a hut. This is crazy. Where do you find it in the Bible? Yeah, yeah. So be careful. It's not in all this great sacrifice and making somebody double